Hello there, this is Daryl Spears with EliteConversations.com, and this is another edition of Business Unlimited. Today we're talking about autism, and we are so excited to have Dr. Amanda Carter here with us. She is the CEO and owner of Carafat LLC, and it's an organization that supports individuals with autism. So thank you, Dr. Carter, for joining us. Thank you for having me. We're so glad to have you here today, and we're talking about autism. Let's talk a little bit about your business and CARAFAP. What does CARAFAP stand for? CARAFAP stands for Care and Recreational Activities for Autistic People. Um, and the intent of CARAFAP is to provide recreational, respite, and behavioral services for individuals mm -hmm. diagnosed with autism, Down syndrome, and even those who have mental health um, disabilities or diagnoses. Excellent. And you are local in the DMV area? Absolutely. We're located at the National Harbor. We service clients in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Um, we have consultants who actually go into the school systems, the home, also our office location. Wow. Well, this is a great, great opportunity for individuals to learn about autism. Share a little bit about yourself, your background, mm -hmm. and where did the passion come from in terms of uh, being in this sector of uh, health industry? Absolutely. Um, I get asked that qu question quite often um, and I always like to tell people how I actually entered their journey into autism. Okay. When I was in undergrad I worked with a kid who had a diagnosis of autism and at that time I really didn't understand the maladaptive behaviors that were associated with autism. Mm -hmm. I just recall this kid running all the time. I mean I was in the best shape of my entire life because he would always try to elope, run, uh, you know, running um, away, trying to get out of my car window. Wow. Um, and subsequently, I stumbled upon another opportunity where I worked with another child who had a diagnosis of autism. And to this day, his mom and I are still very good friends. And just seeing the you know, day-to-day -day struggles, the adversities that his mother had to endure while raising you know, two children, not okay. one, but two children on the autism spectrum um, was just you know, overwhelming, um, exhausting, debilitating, and that really inspired me. Um, so I started doing some research, and the more and more I researched, I became more interested in really studying autism. So thus, that's what has really inspired me to be a big advocate of autism. Um, last year, I actually raised a service dog for a child with a diagnosis of autism, and I spent a lot of my time, energy, and resources, and to be, and knowing that I actually gave this dog away to a child um, for a good cause meant the world to me. So that's what really keeps me going, um, my drive, and I, my goal is to impact the entire world and let parents know that autism is not a curse. Mm. Autism is wow. actually a gift because they can do things that you and yeah, I cannot yeah. do. I mean, wow. they're just phenomenal human beings. That's excellent. And you are very unique because uh, you use, you get creative in your treatment and your therapy mm -hmm. using animals, dogs, your horseback riding. Share how you blend those two together to make it work in that unique aspect. Absolutely. So not every child would benefit um, from the impl implementation of an animal. Um, it's really dependent upon whether a child likes animals or not. Okay. But for those who like animals, um, we do use therapy dogs and we do use horses to um, incorporate that into our treatment modality. The purpose of using a horse would be to improve motor coordination. For an example, a child that may have a diagnosis of syn uh, Down syndrome, um, that's what the incorporation of equine therapy could help to assist with. Whereas the incorporation of a therapy dog can help to improve interpersonal skills, mm -hmm. communication skills, build up um, you know, ways where clients can learn how to be more affectionate okay. um, with the animal. So they're just phenomenal things that you can do with animals and a child on the mm -hmm. autism spectrum. Excellent, I love that. And talk to you offline too, I realize that you do a lot, not just for the children, mm -hmm. but for the parents. Mm -hmm. And you talk about not just uh, accepting certain diagnoses or accepting what you hear. How can you share with parents what they should do to prepare for taking care of an autism child or mm -hmm. how they um, diagnose that um, right. Absolutely. Process. So um, a lot of times parents come to us, they're in denial, mm -hmm. um, and we really like to educate people, parents especially, to let them know that they're not alone in this mm -hmm. process. So making our families feel comfortable is the very first thing that we actually do at CARIFAB. And we're here to help you. We're not here to judge you or right. be, you know, judgmental. Um, and then we also emphasize the importance of 
advocating for your child. Mm -hmm. You are the expert of your child. No one Absolutely. knows your child more than you know you. That's right. So we try to really um, dig for a lot of information that can really help to assist us with that treatment process. And the more information that we have and um, know, that makes the transition easier, that makes trans treatment easier as well. Excellent. So that rolls right into CareFap again. What are the services that you actually provide to mm -hmm. parents? So we do individual life? therapy, mm -hmm. family therapy, um, behavior modification, which is a form of applied behavioral analysis, animal assisted therapy, um, educational advocacy, and we also do social skills. We're having um, two upcoming events. The first event is um, our holiday dance that we're okay. having. Um, with verbal pieces, that's one of our sister companies. And the intent of that dance is to really bring families together, bring resources together, and let our children know that, mm -hmm. you know, they deserve to yeah. have fun, they deserve to have a good time, and be treated fairly with integrity and um, dignity. So um, that's one event that we're having. And then I'm also going to Ghana in February, February 28th, I leave the United States to go to Ghana to support some missionary work. Okay. Um, I'll be speaking to a lot of churches, schools mm -hmm. about autism, Excellent. and Excellent. also um, I will have the opportunity to be featured on their television um, network to really spread autism awareness and also talk about CareFap and what we do. Excellent, I love that, and the fact that you're getting out in front. You know, you're not just working what's going on now or mm -hmm. accepting the different um, treatments, but you're out there researching and trying to figure out what can do, what we can do better to help um, these individuals. So what does it look like in the next five or ten years? Where's autism going? Are there improvements or treatments coming up that will be benefit yes. those? I believe <coughs> there is. Um, Autism is a growing epidemic. Um, there's more data, more research being conducted. So we have been able to identify autism um, much better now than okay. we once did before. Previously, um, this has been many, many years ago, they actually associated autism um, with schizophrenia. We wow. know that <laughs> autism is not schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. Autism is actually a developmental disability that impacts one's social skills, interpersonal skills, um, and it's not a mental health diagnosis. So wow. we definitely try to educate people and let people know that, um, you know, autism doesn't discriminate. I mean, boys mm -hmm. can get autism, mm -hmm. girls could get autism. However, more boys are much more likely to have autism than girls. It's wow. more prevalent. Wow. Well, this has been excellent. We thank you so much for the information. Dr. Carter is awesome. She, again, she is the CEO of CARAFAP. Um, before you go, please share how individuals can reach out to you, where your mm -hmm. office is located. Share a little bit about Absolutely. How the so again, we're located at the National Harbor. Um, our address is, um, oh gosh, <laughs> I just messed it up. <laughs> no, keep going. It's good. We're at the National Harbor. 6310 Oxen Hill Road, okay. um, Suite 210, Oxen Hill, Maryland. Um, and I lost my train of thought. I messed it up. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> Can we cut it? <laughs>